hello. Welcome back to the Tulsa Time Piece. It is I, Mr. Finley, back at you with another video. It's been a while, but we are back. Quick agenda for today. Where have I been? Number one, the state of the collection. Number two, what's next for the collection and what's next for this channel? And then what's next for business? So let's jump right into it. So where have I been? I was off out of school. Those of you who do not know, I am the military reserves. The Army Reserve specifically, and I was off at a school in Wisconsin, and I was going for a month. And I came back for a week, kind of decompressed before I actually got back into this thing. While I was there, I was thinking a lot about the channel, but I had the opportunity to film some content. But number one, I didn't have my MacBook Pro with me for my MacBook Air, so that I could edit the videos, and I really just didn't have the mental capacity. I was focused on the school itself, it was pretty rigorous. Timex Q chronograph, the reverse panda specifically. And so like there is a panda version that comes on the brown strap at 40 millimeters. What I want comes on a black strap with the silver case, with the silver case and white sub dials on a black dial. And that's one that I'm looking for right now. And so that one sits at 499 and so saving up for that one of course and then over than that i'm going to be getting the g-shock ga2100 the dash 1a1 so the original model the all black quartz model with the resin case i'm really feeling the blacked out vibe right now and so i want to pick up one of these pieces by the end of the year no really rush on it at all if i had the opportunity to do it sooner i will but if not no harm no foul as far as other things i'm looking at just chronographs in general with bigger pushers is kind of what i'm looking at right now i have enough dive style watches i have a watch that has the integrated bracelet in it um other than that maybe a dress watch but nothing too crazy with that since because i'm trying to not obviously put myself in a bad position by spending money that i don't need to be spending as far as the youtube channel is concerned um, i'm going to be going to videos once a week i think in the past i mean i push myself a bit too much and not make videos that I want to make and not make videos because I enjoy it. I'll try to make videos for clicks and try to make videos to grow the channel and everything like that. <clears throat> I'm not really concerned with that at the moment since I am focused on my civilian career, my military career, focus on my relationships, friendships, things like that. Just focusing on my life that I'm not at the point where I want this to become more than a hobby. When I get to that point, I'll get there. But at this point, it's not really important. I make videos because I like to, and I talk about things that I want to talk about. I'm not chasing thumbnails, and I'm not chasing viral videos. I just do what I want, and I'm having fun with it. This is a hobby of mine, and that's just kind of how it goes. As far as the business, per se, of um, building timekeeping, that's also in my back pocket at the moment. As I'm getting other things together, and I have more stability and more time to delve into that than I will. One thing I'll say about that is, as far as buying and selling watches is concerned, like I said earlier, I do have one watch that is for sale in the collection. 
once I sell that watch, regardless of how I sell it, I'll kind of work it from there, but it's not something that I am budgeting money out of my paycheck for. It's not something that I'm you know, grinding on like the other social media platforms trying to build a following or anything like that. It's just, if it happens, it happens. Um, if it happens, I'll treat it with fidelity and let it take off from there. But if not, I'm not really concerned with it. I think that letting that come when it's time, so when I have the resources, time allocation and the energy to really just dive into that i will but right now i need to kind of set set up my foundation for my own personal life and so that's kind of where that is overall i'm excited to be back i'm ready to get to work as far as everything else i'm considering with my life i do have some content planned up just for a little sneak peek one of the things we'll be doing we'll be doing a lot of content generated from chat gpt um i've been messing with chat gpt here over these past few weeks and getting some content from that and asking questions and just you know getting some interesting thoughts out there as far as popularity is concerned and so you'll be seeing stuff about that so if you got like one of the 10 most bought watches of all time i asked chat gpt with the most accurate watches <coughs> We'll be talking about a couple classics on the affordable side. There's going to be a comparison video coming up. We're also going to be talking about some style in there, like how to build an old money watch collection, things like that. We'll also be talking about because I clicked the page. We'll also be talking about some content I've got coming up a little bit sooner, which is like the four most popular sports watches of all time. You can probably name one of those off the jump. We're going to do in the video on it, and I'll be giving my take based on that and that's also a chat gpt video and so you'll see kind of a series on that of like you know watches via chat gpt so be look out for that it doesn't come once a week because we all live life i have an actual life big boy job family things like that so those things take priority over this because this is a hobby but let me know what you think in the comment section below if you are new please subscribe if you're not new like the video i'll see you in the next one i'll be back with your boy peace